One thing that helps lift our spirits is a visit to the Dam Store in Rapidam and their delicious pies. Yeah, if by chance you have not visited the Dam Store in Rapidam, well, here's video evidence that you should put it on your summer travel destination list. It's an old-fashioned business, you know, it's been here since 1910. Several families have run it throughout the years, several different ways. It's been a grocery store, it's been a gas station. It's just a fun place for people to come and see, you know, you got a park across the street for kids to play in, you got a campground, canoe landing, you got a bike trail that ends two miles up the road, so there's lots to do here on a nice summer day. We'd help here in the store when we were young, which we have kids that help us out once in a while now too. And Early on when they first started introducing pie to the dam store, there was a neighbor lady friend of ours that was a great, awesome baker, and they just tried a few different kinds, and it took off just like that. And so she did the pies for us for about 15 years, and then as she started aging and having some ailments, we just wondered if she would be interested in teaching. And so we had asked her and she taught me. And um, in 2003, we kind of took, go I took over fully and um, I've been making them ever since now. So there's about five or six that I make every single day that have to be here. And then I kind of improvise in between. Um, Thursdays, we have a peanut butter cream pie that um, people love to come for. And then our weekend pie is chocolate caramel pecan. That's always Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and people come spe specifically for that. I do any be anywhere between 15 to 30 a day, depending on the day, the time of the week. The weather has a lot to do with our business here. Last year? In um, six months, I made 3,100. That's then, just serving by the slice yep, here, mostly. Just Few by people buy whole pies. This is the chocolate caramel pecan. So it's got it's the a, most popular, right? Yes, it's got a caramel base, chocolate center, cool up on top with caramel and pecans drizzled all over it. And that was mm -hmm. one of the original recipes from the lady that taught her. Okay. So some of these pies some, are, are hers, hers. Are like these ours. first two are hers, and that one's one Jenny yeah. has done. See why it's popular. Are you kidding me? Super delicious. Wow, that is a slice of heaven. <laughs> That's what a lot of people say. Oh yep. my. This one is the candy apple. It's got caramel and pecans on top. Ooh. And we get our pecans during the off season when we the go south. down to South Georgia. Oh, we bring you the, do. Yeah, wow. so all these are Georgia pecans. We bring bring pecans back to last the season. Oh my gosh. That's excellent with some ice cream on it. <laughs> oh, warmed up with some ice cream. You're an amazing. <laughs> Hi. Hi Seriously, what a wonderful teacher. teacher. Before that lady taught her, she had never baked anything no, in her life. No, I wasn't life. a baker. I wasn't oh. in the kitchen. Uh -oh. That's how good of a teacher she was. So this is strawberry rhubarb crunch. So it's a strawberry rhubarb with the crumbly crust on top. This is one of my favorites. Oh, I'm eager. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead, Kelsey? Yeah. <laughs> we got people from all over the world that come here. Just like the other morning, my first customer was from Australia. My <laughs> second customer was from Augusta, Georgia. That's our life, you know. That's what we've always done, meeting lots of new people. And we really kind of took it over when our mom started getting sick. She suffered from Alzheimer's, and so then it got serious. Before she had gotten sick, business had been really picking up, too, and so... Um, we just didn't want them to have to close because they couldn't find help or they so we just kicked in more and um now <laughs> we're here up and running and and doing quite well i believe <laughs>